Right, you guys, got another video here for you on stop being forced to use Microsoft account during your Windows setup process. So I'm going to show you four ways to bypass the Microsoft account during the Windows setup process. This is normally when you're installed in Windows, you will be forced to use a Microsoft account instead of using a local account, which is what a lot of people like to use. But Microsoft are moving in a direction where they want to force you to use their Microsoft account, even with a Windows a pro account now so if you've got windows 10 pro or windows 11 pro you'll be soon forced to use a microsoft account to set up just like this one here so when you click on sign in options there will be no use a local account it's going to force you to sign in with a, a microsoft account to continue with the installation so this is the first one you can use which is a dummy account you can put in here no at thank you.com or you can use any other sort of dummy account that you want to use. Click next. Now we need to put in our password. So do one, two, three, four, something like that. And then we can push sign in. And what this is going to do is going to try to sign in and it won't be able to. So it'll go, oops, something went wrong. So we can now click on next. And once we click next, it's going to give us the option for a local account. So now we can create a local account and it'll say even better, use an online account underneath it as you can see right here. But if you want to get a local account, this is how you can do it. It's very simple. I'm not sure how long that's going to be before Microsoft uh, close that window, but basically it's open right now and you can still use that method. So let's go on to method number two, where we can uh, use this method to sign in to a local account on Windows 11 here. But this also works for Windows uh, 10 as well, Home or Pro. So we're going to go to the sign in options here. Let's get on to the next one. So the next one's going to be IP config space forward slash release. This works in a similar way to pulling out your Ethernet cable and then putting it back in again during this setup process. But first push shift F10 on the keyboard to open up command prompt. Inside here, we're going to need to type in IP config space forward slash release. And once you do this, we can then push enter on the keyboard. There we go. And all we need to do now is push close on here. We don't need this anymore. And then when we push close, all you need to do here is click on the back button or back arrow up the very top here. So click on the back arrow and then you should see who's going to use this device. And this is basically where you can put in your uh, username and you're going to end up with a local account. That simple by just doing that method there. So very easy to do, and uh, you can use that method if you wish. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to the signing page, and I'll show you another way of uh, bypassing the forced uh, Microsoft account during the setup process. So let's go ahead and get back to the setup page here. So I'm going to click on setup for personal use, and there we are. We're back at the let's add your Microsoft account here. So the third method is using the out-of-box experience which is your pass NRO. And this is basically going to bypass the network requirements to install Windows 11. So let's go ahead and type this out here. And I will type in here the command. And this will restart the system. And it will start to reboot the PC once we push enter. And this will force restart the PC, as you can see here. And then what it's going to do is boot back up and it will get back to the setup stage where we need to put in our username and password. And that's what it's going to do here. It's going to bypass the sign in options here and go straight into a local account where we can put in our username and password. So let's go ahead and put these in here. Choose your keyboard layout. And once we do this, it will say, uh, Let's get connected to a network. I say I don't have an internet and we can now say continue with limited setup. And once we do this, it should take us to who's going to be using this device. And this is where you can put in your user account, which will then be a local account. So you don't have to sign into a Microsoft account. So that's number three uh, done. And I'll show you one more, which is the most common one, which is uh, basically disabling the network uh, connection flow connection. So what we're going to do is get back to the sign in options here and I'll show you this last method. So there's four methods. So this next one's called network connection flow. 
So when we go to sign in, I've already pulled out the Ethernet connection to my computer, and you can see there's no connection here, and it wants you to connect. It won't let you continue unless you put in your internet connection. And this is exactly what people are trying to do. They pull out their Ethernet connection, and of course, it won't let you continue with the install because they're trying to force you into creating a Microsoft account. So push Shift F10 to open up your uh, command prompt box here. And all you need to do here is we're going to type in here the task manager command, which is T-A-S-K-M-G-R, and then type .exe inside here, push enter, and this will open up the task manager here. So all we need to do here is go to more details, and we're going to be looking inside the background processes here. So what we're looking for here is the uh, network connection flow here. And what this is going to do is if we end task on this, it will basically just put us straight into a local account. This is it right here, network connection flow. So we'll just push end task, and this will close that off. And if we just go back down here, you can see already it's put us at who's going to be using this device, where we can then put in our username. And then you can go ahead and start to set up your account, which is going to be your local account. It's that simple. So that's four ways of stop being forced to use a Microsoft account during the setup phase of Windows 11. So very simple and easy to do. Now, I'm not sure why Microsoft are pursuing this and forcing people to use a Microsoft account when they clearly don't want to. All they need to do is have the options there available to sign into a local account. How hard can that be? What the reason is, is because they want to be able to collect data while you're signed into your Microsoft account. And people know this and they just don't want to use a Microsoft account, or if they do, they'll sign in and use it. They don't want to be forced to use it. And this is the problem with Microsoft right now, where they're forcing so much onto people that people are getting fed up with it. And when you're going to install Windows 11, you should never be forced to use a live account because at the end of the day, what happens if you're in an environment where you don't have internet connection or you want to install it? or for companies that are just trying to install uh, Windows, it becomes a bit more of a hassle. So there is ways around it. You just have to jump through a bunch of different hoops, as Microsoft love you to do when installed in Windows. Now, if you know of any other ways of bypassing the Microsoft account, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on being forced to use Microsoft accounts in the comment section. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. And a special shout out to Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.